U.S. Citizenship Civics Practice Test Number 3. In February of 2021, U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, USCIS, announced it would scrap former President Trump's revised naturalization civics test and restore the previous 2008 version of the civics test. Boundless Immigration has created five U.S. civics practice tests based on the 2008 version of the test. In this video, you will be presented with a question, followed by four multiple choice options. Answers will be revealed after five seconds. A few things to note. There is no time limit in the real civics exam, and some adjudicators will allow applicants to skip questions and come back to them later. Questions are selected at random. Let's get started. What happened at the Constitutional Convention? The Emancipation Proclamation was written. The Virginia Declaration of Rights was written. The Declaration of Independence was written. The Constitution was written. Answer. The Constitution was written. In 1787, 55 representatives went to Philadelphia. They came from 12 of the 13 original states, and they talked about how to design the government. After the Constitutional Convention, the states agreed to adopt the Constitution. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? 10, 12, 9, 11. Answer. 9. The President nominates Supreme Court justices. The Senate votes to confirm them. Supreme Court justices have the job for life or until they decide to retire. What is freedom of religion? You must choose a religion. No one can practice a religion. You can't choose the time you practice your religion. You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. Answer. You can practice any religion or not practice a religion. Freedom to practice different religions is part of American life. It is part of the First Amendment to the Constitution. Everyone living in the United States has religious freedom. They can choose to practice any religion or not practice a religion. Name one right only for United States citizens. Freedom of speech. Attend public school. Run for federal office. Freedom of religion. Answer. Run for federal office. Only United States citizens can vote in federal elections and run for federal office. Citizens make laws through elected representatives. Many naturalized citizens have been elected as U.S. Senators and U.S. Representatives. However, Naturalized citizens cannot run for president. What territory did the United States buy from France in 1803? Quebec, the Louisiana Territory, Hawaii, Alaska. Answer, the Louisiana Territory. After the United States gained independence, Many Americans believed that the country should expand. In 1803, President Thomas Jefferson bought the Louisiana Territory for $15 million. This land doubled the size of the United States. After the United States bought the Louisiana Territory, many more settlers moved west. As of September 2021, what is the political party of the president now? Green Party? Democratic Party? Republican Party, Independent Party. Answer, Democratic Party. Today, there are two major political parties, the Democrats and the Republicans. The political party of the president might change in each election. Who did the United States fight in World War II? Austria, Hungary, Japan, and Germany. Japan, China, and Vietnam, the Soviet Union, Germany, and Italy, Japan, Germany, and Italy. Answer, Japan, Germany, and Italy. 
The United States entered World War II because Japan bombed the United States at Pearl Harbor in 1941. Japan was an ally of Germany and Italy. Together, they formed the Axis powers. The United States and its allies won the war in 1945 against Germany, Italy, and Japan. If both the president and the vice president can no longer serve, who becomes president? The president pro tem, the secretary of state, the speaker of the house, the secretary of the treasury, Answer. The Speaker of the House. The Speaker of the House is the leader of the House of Representatives. If both the President and the Vice President can no longer serve, the Speaker of the House becomes the President of the United States. This has never occurred in American history. Who was President during World War I? Warren Harding, Woodrow Wilson, Franklin Roosevelt, Theodore Roosevelt. Answer. Woodrow Wilson. World War I started in 1914. Many countries in Europe and other places fought each other during World War I. Woodrow Wilson and others in the United States did not want to enter World War I, but in 1917, German submarines attacked American ships. Woodrow Wilson decided the United States had to fight the war. Congress agreed and declared war. What are two major political parties in the United States? Democratic Republicans and Whigs, Reform and Green, American and Blue Moose, Democratic and Republican. Answer, Democratic and Republican. Political parties are groups of people who organize to help candidates win elections and to create public policies. The members of the two major political parties are called Democrats and Republicans. The symbol of the donkey represents the Democrats. The symbol of the elephant represents the Republicans. Who is in charge of the executive branch? The Prime Minister, the Chief Justice, the President, the Speaker of the House. Answer. The President. The President signs and enforces laws. The President is Commander-in-Chief of the military, and the President represents the United States to other countries. He or she signs treaties with other countries. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. World War I. Korean War. Mexican-American War. World War I. Answer, Mexican-American War. The United States fought four wars in the 1800s, the War of 1812, the Mexican-American War, the Civil War, and the Spanish-American War. The United States fought Mexico in the Mexican-American War from 1846 to 1848. The United States wanted to expand west. The land that was once part of Mexico became part of the United States. The land now forms the states of California, New Mexico, Utah, Nevada, Arizona, and parts of Colorado and Wyoming. Name one problem that led to the Civil War. Oil, westward expansion, sugar, slavery. Answer. Slavery. Disagreements over slavery and other issues led to the Civil War. Some people believed slavery should be illegal, while other people did not. Many people in the South believed their economy and daily life needed slaves. The South fought the North because they wanted states' rights to keep slavery legal. The North won the war in 1865, and slavery became illegal in all states. Slavery, economic reasons, and states' rights were all problems that led to the Civil War. How many amendments does the Constitution have? 21, 10, 27, 23. 
Answer. 27. Amendments are changes to the Constitution. The Constitution added the first 10 amendments in 1791. Congress added the first 10 amendments in 1791. They are called the Bill of Rights. Since then, the government added more amendments. The 27th Amendment was added in 1992. Who signs bills to become laws? The Chief Justice, the Secretary of State, the President, the Vice President. Answer. The President. A bill is a proposed law. Members of Congress write bills to address issues that are important to the American people. They vote on bills. If Congress accepts a bill, they send it to the President to be signed. If the President agrees with the bill, the President signs it. Then the bill becomes a law. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because of high taxes. Because the British Army stayed in their houses. Because they didn't have self-government. All of the above. Answer. All of the above. When the American colonies formed, they were part of Britain. Britain increased taxes for the colonists on things they bought and used every day, like tea. Many colonists were angry because no one represented their needs in the British government. Colonists believed they did not have self-government. The British forced colonists to allow British soldiers to sleep and eat in their homes. The colonists joined together to fight Britain and gain independence. There were 13 original states. Name three. Washington, Oregon, and California. New York, Kentucky, and Georgia. Virginia, North Carolina, and Florida. Maryland, Virginia, and North Carolina. Answer. Maryland, Virginia, and North Carolina. The 13 original states were New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. The 13 original states were the first 13 British colonies. What is the name of the vice president as of September 2021? Joe Biden, Donald Trump, Dick Cheney, Kamala Harris. Answer, Kamala Harris. The vice president advises the president. If the president can no longer serve, the vice president becomes the president. The vice president is also the president of the U.S. Senate. He or she votes in the Senate when there is a tie. What is one right or freedom from the First Amendment? Trial by jury. To vote. Speech. To bear arms. Answer. Speech. The First Amendment protects the rights of speech, assembly, and press. It protects the right to petition the government and freedom of religion. Democracy works only if people can talk to each other and share their opinions. What is the economic system in the United States? Capitalist economy? Communist economy? Socialist economy? None of the above. Answer. Capitalist economy. A capitalist economy is a market economy. Capitalism means that people, not the government, own most businesses. In the United States, businesses decide what to sell. They decide how much money to charge for products and services. Then, people decide what they want to buy. This is called a market economy. This is the end of the test. How did you do? Let us know in the comments. If you'd like to see a full list of U.S. citizenship test questions and answers, hit the link on your screen. And if you found this video helpful, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Boundless on YouTube. Thanks for watching.